last talks to take us to the, uh, uh, to the end of the evening. Uh, there are two shorter talks, 20 minutes, so um, we, sh we should get out in time for uh, <laughs> beverage. So uh, next up is um, Amar uh, Mokhtar, who's going to talk about um, uh, broadband dev, or BB dev, as he calls it, baseband dev, rather, sorry. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, for the most of the people, they don't know me, so my name is Amar Mokhtar. Uh, I work at Intel based here in Shannon, and we, my team, we are focused uh, on the applicability of TBDK in the wireless domain, uh, specifically for the radio access networks. Um, and I, I came here uh, today to, to talk about our, our proposal. It was posted uh, um, like uh, four weeks ago about uh, a new, the, the new framework, wireless B, uh, uh, baseband device, BBDF. So uh, a little bit of background about this. Uh, so why baseband? So transforming a packet from bits into signals uh, to make it good for transmission over the air goes through a decent number of, um, of steps. Um, and, uh, and, and that, that pipeline here, I, I take that snapshot from the, um, uh, from the reference, the specification reference that uh, it's, uh, I have it in the bottom here. It's from the uh, 3GPP. And for, for the, those who are not aware about 3GPP, so this is the standardization body about uh, LTE and uh, for the mobile networks for LTE and 5G. And, uh, and we, so, so this is the, the pipeline. And uh, so in, in these blocks here, uh, this is a great deal of processing that acceleration um, uh, and hardware offload uh, gives us a, a great deal of, um, uh, of boosting the performance in the, in the network and for the wireless uh, business. And that shaded box here uh, on the left there, so this is the turbo coding. So this is one of the most uh, compute-intensive uh, blo uh, blocks in, the, in this pipeline. And this is what we started in our uh, architecture. So in the, our framework, the, the, the BBDEV, is, is intended to, to be a common programming frame, framework for this, sort, this kind of workloads for the wireless domain. And as well, it's, it, it provides a seamless um, abstraction inf interface for all the functions, either they are in the, in the hardware flavor or they are in the software flavor. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So uh, the, the, the shaded box here in the, in the middle, so this is the, the BBDEV, this is the framework itself, this is the library itself. It has two interfaces. The interface on the top is the interface to the application, which this is the totally abstracted interface that is um, it's common for all the, under, to all the functions that are being abstracted underneath that. And at the, the bottom here, we have the drivers. So we, this, the, the, the framework is able to support uh, the pull mode drivers for hardware or even for software. Um, so for we, as well in, in the presentation here, it shows that it's not it's not only for turbo, but as well it's it's for other functions like for if you'd like to to make a Fourier transform or modulation mapping. Um, so all these they, they can be different drivers. So you will you will in that case you will be able to see different devices under that framework, and as well this as well. It uh, can be as well, uh, um, you will have a, a pull mode driver as well for, for the, uh, using the hardware. Either they are in FBGA or fixed function accelerators. Um, the last, is, so I tried to, uh, to, to make it uh, m more explanatory, but I will try to explain this. So what I meant about this interface that it's, it has this that every if if you are creating your own driver your pull mode driver so you will you will be able to register your driver under that framework and then uh, and then you will be able to use that uh, driver so this is what the, the using the, the driver facing uh, api so if if you have been working with uh, crypto dev and ethernet device you will find this very much familiar Uh, this is the state machine of the framework, uh, so as well, uh, very uh, um, 
Um, so uh, the first thing is that we start at uh, it's uh, once you, we have the real time environment of the DBK is initialized. So we have all all the devices they have been probed and they are they are now um, they they start off uh, at a stopped state. So after that we have the API. Um, so the BBDF count it's it's able to count all the devices that you have in the framework or or in, in the library. And then as well, uh, using the API and forget, you will be able to get information about the, the, the devices you have in the, in, the, in the library and as well uh, their capabilities, what they are capable of, capable of because there are plenty of functions. So maybe we'll be able to, to do turbo and uh, modulation uh, and, and rate matching and CRC or you can, uh, and you, you can be able to do only uh, turbo. So you can get this from the info get from, uh, for the device. And as well, we have APIs for to configure the device and to configure the queues uh, to start to stop. And then eventually we have the NQ and DQ uh, func functions, which this is the real data plane processing of the packets. So the framework, it's, um, it avails the look-aside model. So uh, this is how typically it should look like uh, using the, uh, the BBDF framework from uh, if you have a hardware driver that a, a thread to enqueue, first thing is enqueue, uh, it enqueues the ops, the operations, and then uh, it, 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 it forms the hardware descriptors in the memory, then performs a, a memory mapped I.O. Uh, to, um, to, uh, and this com triggers the hardware to, to, uh, to go to the memory using DMA to read these descriptors to know what's the operation to, it, it needs to do. And then once it's done, it writes back the result in the memory and there is a DQ a thread uh, which is, um, it will DQ uh, the results ba back uh, to the application. Um, this is pretty much the same, but for if you have a, a, a software driver, so um, a, a thread, it's, um, uh, it's, it's performing the NQ as well. It's, it's totally abstracted to the application, but it's, uh, it's doing the operation uh, within uh, using the software driver, and then writes it, this through a software ring, which will be able to be um, uh, dequeued from uh, the TQ thread. Um, so, a little bit of back background as well about the turbo. So, what's, what's the meaning of that turbo operation? So, turbo operation, it's a, it's a for, uh, forward er uh, error correction uh, algorithm. So, because in the wireless domain, when you are sending a packet over the air, there is a big, the, a big chance that you will get some errors in the packet. And it's, it's not a good idea that you will keep retransmitting the packet. And instead, you should uh, um, implement the, an, an algorithm to be able to fix these errors as long as they, are, they can be fixed. And this is the intention of that algorithm, that it is doing this uh, error correction for you um, so that to avoid the retransmission of the packets. Um, and if we, if we see here in the back in the, in the first pipeline, at the top, from, this is the MAC, this is layer two of, of the LTE technology. And here what we receive, this is the full packet, this is the transport packet. And according to, that, um, to the specification that this transport packet, if it is too big, it needs to be sliced down into smaller pieces. These are called control blocks. And, and there is a maximum size for that control block. It's 6K bits, which is around 768 bytes. So this is the maximum size of the control block. So using the framework, we, we have built the, um, the flexibility of the MBUF library to have this cha the chaining of the MBUF segments. So every MBUF segment could, be, uh, uh, could represent a control block. And the whole MBUF thing, it represents the transfer block. And as well, in the op, uh, in the, well, the, uh, op data structure, so this, this uh, describes the information or the operation to be implemented on the data. So we have three arguments. The data itself, the offset, which it shows the offset of the, your operation to start from, to, um, to skip your header or whatever. And as well, the last thing is the length. This is the length of the operation. And that this is the transport block length of the operation. 
And I have a little disclaimer here about this thing that this might change because this may be it's good, very good for the turbo operation, but maybe it, it won't be suitable for other wireless functions because this framework it's, it's for um, the whole pipeline of the, the, the baseband for the, for the wireless. Um, so I kept these APIs just for reference, so uh, uh, how I will, I will um, cut it short. So this, this uh, uh, it's just for reference. So um, we, um, I, I put them here in the slide, but they describe that we we have a management API, queue management, operation management, interrupts, and statistics. So I will go very quickly on them so that we give more time for uh, Q and A. Um, so. Um, Similar what's what's um, what's being done with the Ethernet device and the crypto device that we, we have uh, an, an API to configure the device. This configured device it sets up um, the whole memory. It um, sets up as well the queues to be to use your your uh, hardware device, and as well there is a conf queue configure API. This one is as well. It's concerned about the queues every queue. Um, and as well for the device manager, like uh, to get the count, um, to get the next, uh, to configure the device, to get the information about the device. And this information, it's pretty important because this is where you get the capabilities about your device or your driver. What's able to do? Is it able to do um, turbo coding? Is it able to do other functions as well, like CRC and rate matching? Some other drivers, they don't support this. Some others, they support. So we can get this from the capabilities. And then, as well, we have start, stop, and close. Um, I would like to point here about this, that at the, at the configure time, when you are setting up the queues here, this is the time that you decide what's the operation this queue is doing. So here we define, is it only for decode? It's, it's only for encode. And then you have to stay all the time using this queue that you keep it using that information. So we have the flexibility to choose whatever the operation this queue is able to do before it's configured. Once it's configured, you, can, you can't change that. You need to reconfigure that queue. And these are the, the, the two data plane um, uh, APIs, the in queue and DQ. And here as well, there is this one point that I would like to highlight that here we provide we have a union, and this because it is calling this in queue. You you have to decide: are you in queuing a decode operation, or is it a, an encode operation? And this is defined using this obstruction. So that obstruction, it's it's common for for the in queue API, and then within that API, you will be able to know um, the encode and decode operations. Uh, there is a support for interrupts and for static sticks and. That's it. So we're open for questions. Yes, please. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to repeat the question, yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't they, um, doesn't the Mac, at the Mac layer, don't, in order to synchronize with the actual radio, and in the mid hall, don't you actually have to maintain certain um, timing synchronization on both layers and, and almost zero jitter? Um, you're talking about this TTI thing about the Mac. So it's, um, so it's uh, because we are on the layer one. So we are pretty much away from the Mac and from scheduling. So our framework, it's, it's more about acceleration. So we are acceleration um, and it, it, it turbo uh, an uh, um, algorithm. So it's an al algorithm that you are, you are doing an acceleration for it. So you need to, to do it as fast as possible. <laughs> but it's, it's, not, it's not related to the Mac uh, GTI. Um, so requirements. There's, a, there's a hard time limit. You just have to do it inside that hard time limit. Is that what you're there's, saying? There's no, no timer at all in, uh, in the framework. But, but if you don't do it in time, you'll underrun the next stage, right? Which means you'll lose um, blocks on the, on, the, on the radio. Okay. 
So could, could you say that loud, uh, Chris, for the people? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to answer it, but it, the yeah. timing budget was for, is for the entire pipeline. And the acceleration piece, which Amr is showing there, is uh, just part of that pipeline. But, so the faster you can execute that code, the more time you have to do other things. So thanks, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> so which block code you are using, like BCH or something? Uh, sorry, what Inside the hear. turbo code, which algorithm you are using, BCH codes or something else? BCH? BCH, like turbo code, use some specific fundamental coding uh, block codes, BCH based or some other? I'm not, about, about, I'm no? not aware about this BCH, but okay. it's, it's using the, the, the turbo algorithm that has been specified by the specs. Okay. And so um, right now, you, you support solution only for turbo cores or LDPC oh. or something else. So the framework, it, it's it's not it's, it it shouldn't be specific only for turbo. Yeah. But this is we started off with this because this is one of the most compute intensive blocks in the in this pipeline. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. So, uh, I think you already explained. Right now, you are uh, addressing on one particular component of it. Uh, a wireless driver that only the turbo acceleration but do you plan to extend it for all other stages the complete mac framework this is a business question i'm a technical guy yeah, because right now it's not really a bb driver it's addressing a one particular component at the moment yes yeah so at the moment we support the, the turbo uh, crc and rate matching but what generally I expect from a, this kind of driver to addressing the complete layer, a like complete Mac offload or something of that sort, rather than just addressing on one particular functionality of a driver. Yeah. So this yeah. is a specific acceleration which you are asking for, right? Uh, to be offloaded in the D DPDK. Uh, so at, at the moment, uh, well, that's what we support, but uh, the plan is that this BBDF, it's, it's more a general idea. So it, it should work for all the layer one or the layer one uh, functions. Did I answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, thanks very much, yeah. Amar, for that.